Today we're going to show you how easy it is to sign up for an event using our new church management platform called Planning Center. First thing you'll do is find the event that you want to register for. This might be on a page on our website or from one of our church newsletters, but for today's demonstration I've got two young kids so I'm going to use our upcoming PJ sing-along and story time. So no matter how you find the event you want to register for, you'll click on a link and it'll bring you to a landing page that looks like this. It'll have the date and time for the event, details for the event, like a brief description, or the cost. You'll click the register button, and that will bring you to this next page, where it will ask you to put in your cell phone number. For most of you, you've had this information on file with the church, so it will text you a code that you will then enter to log into the system. You can also choose to send the code to your email address if you prefer. If you aren't in our system, don't worry, I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. But let's continue registering for this event. You'll put in your cell phone number and then it will send you a six digit code that you'll log in. If your number is in our system, it will recognize you and ask if you want to continue. Or if it gives you a wrong name, you can select where it says not you and enter in your correct information. But let's continue because it got my name right. Next, you can select who you want to register for the event. So if you're registering for something for yourself or parents, maybe you just want to sign up your kids or maybe you want to sign up the whole family all at once. You also have the ability to sign up a friend by selecting the option to add someone else and filling in their information as well. It's then going to ask you to just verify your personal information that we have on hand, uh, which then you'll hit review where you can review that information that you've submitted is correct and then hit complete registration. Next, we're going to show you what it looks like to register if you're not in our system. So it's going to ask you for your cell phone number. You're going to input that. It will then ask you for your email address so that we can send you confirmation emails and any other notices about your account. Uh, you'll receive that six-digit code, uh, and you'll enter that in in order to begin setting up your account. Once you enter in that six-digit code, you'll hit next. So just fill in your first name and last name. For this one, we'll put John Wesley. And I want to select who I want to attend this event. And so I'm not actually signing up for myself. I'm going to be signing up for uh, another child. So uh, we'll go ahead and say that Charles Wesley is a person in my household and I want to register for them. I'll click next. I'll get to put in any pertinent contact information or personal information um, about myself or the person that I'm registering for. And then hit next to review the information that I've submitted. Once you're okay with everything that you've submitted, you can hit complete registration. If you need to make any changes, it allows you to edit there. And once you hit complete registration, you have registered. It'll send a confirmation email to whatever email that you provided. And that's how easy it is to register for one of our events.